Shalom, Kahala, Yahawa, Bahasham, Yahawa Shai, Bahasham, Rakai Kadash. Double honors to the apostles and the elders, bishops at Great Millstone, who to rule and teach well. Peace and blessings to the tabernacle of David, the sincere Akimanakwath of the hopefully elect out there listening and learning, keeping the faith and diligence of our Lord Yahweh Shah, occupying these prophecies until all is fulfilled, the end of this wicked world comes, and Lord willing, we enter the kingdom. So here we go back with more World War Three news dealing with Russia and the U.S. You know, news just coming out breaking uh, yesterday that uh, Crimea was just attacked and uh, the information has come out that the missiles that were used in this attack are American made missiles alright so basically this is a direct attack from America on Russian territory so this right here this is a major escalation of World War 3 alright and uh, let's, let's get this right here Romans 9 and verse 18 it says therefore hath he mercy on whom he will have mercy and whom and whom he will hardeneth thou wilt say then unto me why doth he yet find fault for who hath resisted his will so who hath resisted the will of the heavenly father everything that's happening on the earth was written aforetime these would you know the things that the prophets saw in the last days, this is what they were seeing. They saw the science of, of, of uh, the future. All right. And these um, world players today, right, uh, the kings of the earth, you know, America, Russia, China, North Korea, you know, they're all set up in, in their lot to fulfill last day's prophecy. And we're very, very close to the end because all of what... Yahweh Shah told us what happened in the last days. These things are happening right now in real time for us to witness, man. So, you know, these things are a major uh, faith booster for us, all right? So, listen, for you brothers and sisters out there that's in this truth and, and you locked in, you know, seeing these things should be increasing your faith. This should be bringing you closer to Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah. You know, knowing that we're at the door, knowing that all things are set to be fulfilled very soon. Like, of course, World War Three. We know that uh, the mark is coming. You know, the, the you know there's going to be a, a financial collapse. You know, uh, black swan events, terror attacks are going to take place on uh, American soil. The whole earth is about to be in chaos, man. These are some very evil and perilous times that we're in. So knowing that. You know, you you should be given more diligence unto the Lord, you know, to, uh, you know, make your calling and election sure, you know, because the scriptures say that many have been called, but few are chosen. Now, we know that we've been called, but we don't know if we've been chosen, you know, but we got to continue and, you know, put on, you know, like uh, the 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 elect, you know, and uh, continue on the path that we've been called. All right. And just pray that the Lord have mercy on us, you know, because one thing about it. We all need mercy, you know, we all need mercy and, you know, grace in this thing to continue and be found favorable in the sight of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. All right. So, uh, you know, we're going to play some TikTok clips, got a few articles, you know, Lord willing, this lesson is edifying, quick and straight to the point, you know, won't make this long at all. But uh, let's go. We have breaking news, which we have to talk about, because if Russia is going to push this narrative, we could have massive problems. Yesterday, we mentioned a story about how Russia claims that they shot down five Ukrainian Atticums that were shot from Ukraine towards Sevastopol in occupied Crimea. They said they destroyed all the missiles. One of them, though, was hit over the beach and then landed on people injuring many. The exact numbers that Russia put out is that four were killed and 151 people were injured. We showed you the video. We even said, why are people vacationing in an area that is always being attacked? It is a war zone after all. But now the Russians have taken upon themselves to say that it was the United States 
that gave Ukraine all of the intel on that the United States should be held responsible. I'm going to read for you the exact quote which comes from the Russian Defense Ministry because essentially you can kind of see where Russia is going with this. In their statement they say, all flight missions for the American Attackums Operation Tactical Missiles are entered by American specialists based on their own U.S. satellite intelligence data. Okay, they're referring to right here, the Reapers. They put up photos online saying that one was in the Black Sea and then that was giving intel to the Ukrainians who then were able to get information about that attack. Russia goes on to state, therefore, responsibility for the deliberate missile attack on civilians in Sevastopol lies primarily with Washington, which supplied these weapons to Ukraine, as well as the Kyiv regime from whose territory this attack was launched. And then it ends with, quote, such actions will not go unanswered. As you can see, if Russia acts, this is going to be a major problem. There are a few things that we do need to talk about this. First, Ukraine has not commented on this yet, but from the looks of it, it looks like some kind of weapons were used. Second, if weapons were used, if Ukraine did go into Crimea to strike military targets, it's an active war zone. So they were aiming for military targets, and then Russia used their air defenses to take them down, but they did it over a beach, over a populated area. So if debris did fall on these people, Ukraine... That wasn't their target. They were going to military installations. Third, Russia does this every day to Ukraine. They send in missiles. Ukraine tries to destroy them in areas that don't have populations. But unfortunately, sometimes it doesn't work out that way. And people do get taken out. Fourth, why are you allowing people to vacation in an area that is an active war zone, Russia? You can't let people in there then destroy the missile, the missile falls on them, and then you get upset about that. You allow those people in that area. And my fifth and final point, Russia, if you didn't invade Ukraine, then you wouldn't have had any of these problems. None whatsoever. All that being said, you can see that Russia is trying to pull the United States into this, saying that they gave them the rockets, the, talking about the attackums, and they're getting intel from satellites and reapers like this. But let me know what you think about this in the comment section below. I'm going to have to make a longer video later on today because there's a lot more information I could fit in this video. It's just, I don't want to... Reaction. So while we were all distracted by the Trump verdict, Biden gave Ukraine permission to use American-made missiles in Russia. Well, Ukraine made good on that and used American-made missiles in Russia, and there was an attack in Crimea where civilians were killed. And now Russian authorities are calling this a terrorist attack by U.S. government. Meanwhile, Biden, who put all of this in motion because he basically put us in a proxy war with Russia by allowing Ukraine to use our missiles to attack Russia is nowhere to be found. He's in Camp David preparing for a debate. So, yeah, this is the current state of affairs in America this morning, thanks to our president, Biden. I certainly hope that things don't escalate. I certainly hope that cooler heads prevail. But Russia's been itching. And Biden is weak. Regardless of what you want to say about Trump being an asshole, Biden's weak. And you cannot lead the most powerful country in the world and be a weak, doddering, old fool who needs a week to prepare for a debate that is highly favored on his end, no less. I hope this turns out better than what we think it could, because sometimes all it takes is a little and you're at war. And check it out, right? Biden is a perfect representation of the state of America. Weak, frail, demented, deluded, and on the way out this place is over man you know and uh the u.s gave ukraine those missiles to use on russia it's like russia is pretty much in a position now where 
they have no choice but to respond. And seeing what Russia has been doing over the past two years, one thing Russia has made very clear is that they don't bluff. When they say they about to make a move, they do it. So why does it make sense for America to keep poking the Russian bear and, and, and what, expect nothing to not happen? To just expect Russia to, you know, to just lay down? I'm, I mean, look, the American military is a, is a complete joke. And like she said in the video, Russia has been itching. I mean, wasn't it just last week that Russia declared America an enemy state? And now this happens. So what else could could come of this? I mean, we're already at, you, you know, we're already in World War Three, But we're at the point now where things are really about to escalate to where, you know, troops are about to be moving. Heavy military artillery is about to be moving. You see? This, listen, this is where we at. You have Russian nationals that are in America that are ready to cause chaos, man. Like, listen, you, you've been having the FBI, you know, uh, CIA intelligence officers saying that within the next few months, you know, going into 2025, there's going to be a major terror attack on U.S. soil worse than 9-11. There are foreign actors in America ready to activate. And these people ain't ready. <laughs> you see, hey, the scriptures tell you, man, you know, Lord willing, this is the year that Jacob's trouble pops off. You know what I'm saying? But listen, the situation is critical right now. All right. Let's go here to, uh, let's go here. Proverbs uh, 21 you know it's a lot here let's, let's uh, hold that Revelation 9 and 12 one woe is past and behold there come two woes more hereafter right so one woe World War 1 World War 2 right and the third woe is coming which is World War 3 Revelation 11 and 14 the second woe is past right second world war that was what like 80 80 uh 80 years ago right the second woe was passed and behold the third woe cometh quickly you see so this so this third world war is coming quickly man all right and really in in, in uh, the grand scheme of things 80 years ago really wasn't that long ago you know what i'm saying like you have people alive today that was around back then you know so this this third world's war is indeed coming quick you know what I'm saying? And let's go here to the TPV article, right? Ron Paul says Russia can't not respond to Crimea attack. Former U.S. Congressman Ron Paul has said that here is tremendous pressure on Russia to retaliate against the U.S. over Sunday's attack missile strike on a crowded beach near Sevastopol. All right, and just last week, two weeks ago what you had Russian uh, warships carrying out war games in Cuba in the Caribbean okay uh, you've you, you know you've had Vladimir Putin go and matter of fact I think right now he's you know Putin is on the Asian tour you know but he went to uh, North Korea right met up with King Jun uh, Kim Jong-un and now they're in a military alliance. So Russia and, and North Korea, they have an agreement to where if we, either one of them get attacked, it's on. You know, if, uh, you know, if uh, Russia gets attacked, which Russia was just attacked by America with these attackums, right? <laughs> so uh, all Russia got to do is just say the word and North Korea is going to come running. Same thing with North Korea. If they get attacked, Russia is going to defend. But in this case, the kings of the east, they're being roused up in the spirit by Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. Right? As we just read in Proverbs 21, the king's heart. Let's lock it. Let me, let, me, let me read it. Trevor. Proverbs 21, the king's heart is in the hand of the Lord as the rivers of water. He turneth it whithersoever he will. 
right? Every man, every way of a man is right in his own eyes, but the Lord pondereth the hearts. All right. So the the uh, the heart of the king is in the hand of the Lord. So the Lord is is the one controlling uh, these kings. All right. The Lord is the one putting it in their, you know, on their hearts or in their minds to carry out His will. This is the purpose of Yahweh Bashemel Shai that this World War Three be be uh, brought forth because ultimately. Right, as it says in Luke 21 and 24. Well, let me start up at 23. But woe unto them that are with child, and to them that give suck in those days. For there shall be great distress in the land and wrath upon his people. Now, we know this is uh, speaking about uh, what happened in 70 AD when the Romans came in and uh, they destroyed us out of Jerusalem. You know what I'm saying? You know, uh, Yahweh Shai was, you know, warning of that. You know, when you read up in 21, it says, Then let them which are in Judea flee to the mountains, and let them which are in the midst of it depart out, and let them not, and let not them that are in the countries enter therein too. Yeah, so this happened in 70 AD to Jerusalem where we were pushed out, all right? And we've never seen our land again, all right? But here, you know, uh, today, the same thing is going to happen, but it's going to be in America, Babylon the Great. All right, this destruction is coming. Verse 24, and they shall fall by the edge of the sword and shall be led away captive into all nations. Okay, this and this happened. All right, via the transatlantic slave trade. Okay, and Jerusalem shall be trodden down of the Gentiles. Okay, that's why you got them small hats. You got them. Uh, you got them Ishmaelites over there. You got Elam. All right, you have all sorts of. Uh, you know, Gentile, heathen nations that are in Jerusalem trodden it down right now. All right. The true people are not in, in the land. All right. You have strangers, bastards dwelling in that land right now. All right. But it says Jerusalem shall be trodden down of the Gentiles until the time of the Gentiles be fulfilled. And guess what? This World War Three coincides with the time of the Gentiles being fulfilled. This is why all these things are going on. Verse 25, and there shall be signs in the sun and in the moon and in the stars and upon the earth, distress of nations. These nations are distressed right now. See, World War Three is getting ready to be full blown. And people are worried. They're perplexed. They're anxious, afraid. And also, on the other hand, you have people living carefree like, you know, there's nothing going on like like we're not at war right now. All right, like there's not about to be a, a military draft, you see. Just you, you know, uh, just like it was in, in the days before the flood, right? People was eating and drinking, being merry, just carrying on about their their daily lives until what the destruction came and and caught them off guard. You know, what I'm saying caught them off guard like a thief in the night. You see, but those that are watching, all right, which are the uh, hopeful elect, all right. Starting with the prophets, you see, standing on their watchtower, you know, watching for any sign of, of uh, disturbance in, in the distance. And, and you know, we're, we're crying aloud to our people and warning them, listen, danger is coming. All right. This is the message of the prophets, man, to repent. Danger is coming. Repent and, and get yourself right with, with, with the Lord before the evil days come. All right. Which we're in the midst of evil days, man. So you're going to need that protection. All right. But yeah, distress of nations with perplexity, the sea in the waves roaring. Verse 26, men's hearts failing them for fear and for looking after those things which are coming on the earth for the powers of heaven shall be shaken. Right. And the powers of heaven are going to be shaken during this World War Three, man. All right. The kings of the earth, man, listen. It's about to be all kind of things going on. We always speak about it, right? Disease, pestilence, famine, and of course, wars, man. Listen, a lot of people are about to be taken in a great number pursuing to uh, Second Ezra's, the, the fifth chapter. Continuing on with this article, five civilians, including at least two children, were killed and over 150 injured by cluster munitions from a U.S. supplied missile launched by Ukrainian forces. Paul described the strike as, quote, a Ukrainian and American attack on Russia. You see that? 
and said that some kind of escalation was inevitable after the U.S. supplied long-range missiles to Ukraine and gave Kyiv permission to use them for strikes deep inside Russia. What's Russia going to do about this? Paul asked. Are they going to twiddle their thumbs and walk away? They might for a day or two ponder it, but there will be something that they're going to do. Yeah, and it, like I say, Russia don't bluff. So Russia already understands the situation. You know, he'll more than likely take some time to assess the situation and assess what measures that Russia wants to take. But there is going to be a response to this. All right. There is going to be a response to this because the Russian bear is not just going to allow, you know, these other nations to just, you know, just 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 walk all over. All right. There is going to be a response. And this is when you're going to see um, troops be moved. This is when you're going to see America issue a uh, imminent mandatory draft. OK, this is why they just passed that bill just last week that men and women ages 18 to 26 you're automatically signed up for the selective service man because listen uh the fighting is about to be uh on and popping okay see what i'm saying so yeah man you know we're we're, we're in those days like we are that generation that's gonna see the return of our lord yahweh shah man and you know we we are so close that you can feel it you know <clears throat> Psalms 2 and verse 2 it says the kings of the earth set themselves and the rulers take counsel together against the Lord and against his anointed saying let us break their bands asunder and cast away their cords from us he that sitteth in the heavens shall laugh the Lord shall have them in derision then he shall speak unto them in his wrath and vex them in his sore displeasure all right so when you read verse one, it says, "Why do the heathen rage and the people imagine a vain thing?" These, you know, these heathen, they're they're jockeying for position of who's going to have uh, the most pull in this NWO. You know what I'm saying? That's what that's why all of them are going digital and uh, you know implementing certain policies. So really, you know, they all want the same thing. But what these Eastern kings have in mind is they're collectively uh, against the West. You know, so they want to, you know. They're coming together to take down this Western-led hegemony, man. All right? Because the whore got to go. The whore been bullying these nations for the longest time, and, and Russia is leading that charge. The bear is leading that charge. You see? So, but all of it is vain because it's not really going to amount to anything. I mean, they are going to, you know, have, uh, you, you know, some uh, success as far as, you know, rolling out the MOTB, but that's not going to last for long. Because, see, once Esau moves to do that, that's when that destruction is, is, is really going to come forth, you know, uh, full full blown. You know, but prophecy must be fulfilled as it is written. And uh, these things that, that are happening, these heathen are raging to bring about the end. You know, very, you know, plain and simple. All right. So, hey, right now the Lord is doing a great work, you know, and we got front row seats <laughs> to all the action. You see, and these nations, they're going to destroy each other. World War Three going to be going on. And then uh, Yahweh Shah and the host of heaven, the angels, the chariots, you know, what I'm saying they're going to return it in the mist. You know, that's going to be that um, so-called alien invasion that Esau like to put up in the movies. You know, what I'm saying that's going to be Yahweh Shah coming back and uh, taking these heathen nations down. All right. And setting up righteousness, the kingdom of heaven on the earth you see and we can go here close out on this okay Moscow could deploy ICBMs in Mexico Russian TV claims right so we know that just a few weeks ago Russia you know they was down in Cuba you know Mexico is also um, Slovakia, Russia. You know they're 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 also behind the scenes working with Mexico uh, as well. You see what I'm saying? So 
says here Kremlin propagandists have claimed that countries in Latin America including Mexico could host missiles that can strike American targets the comments were made on the program 60 minutes whose anchors and guests made frequent threats against the West as they framed Vladimir Putin's full-scale invasion of Ukraine as a proxy war between Moscow and NATO and that's exactly what it is Kiev had long argued it needed to be able to strike targets on Russian territory especially after Moscow's forces made rapid gains in the border areas of the Kharkiv region Washington finally gave the go-ahead for its weapons to be used in this way albeit with caveats in a monologue host Evgeny Popov refers to comments by President Joe Biden that U.S. permission for Kiev to use weapons to hit Russia did not mean that they could be used to hit Moscow or any government building. So, so you see this. This right here is directly connected with what just happened in uh, Crimea, which is Russian territory, right? Joe Biden gave the U.S. permission for Kiev, Ukraine, to use weapons to hit Russia. So as Ron Paul said, Russia can't not respond to this, man. There, there is going to be a, a response. Now, to what degree? We just got to wait and see to what degree that that is. But there is going to be a response. Russia is not just going to let this go unanswered. Okay? That's the bottom line. But look, you know, stuff is going down. The bear continues to be angered and roused up because America keep on poking the bear. <laughs> you know, and this is also going to lead to sedition in America because it's like why won't you just leave Russia alone why do you keep you know egging this on you know but ultimately Esau has it in his mind effort you know I need to depopulate the earth I need to you know cause confusion because ultimately this is going to forward this uh, NWO agenda you see what I'm saying amongst many many other things so the US is uh, behind this uh, Russia Crimea attack and yes Russia will respond to this so I'll close out here Lord willing this is edifying call hello Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Bashem Rakakadash until next time Lord willing Shalom to the elect Kom Yashallah and Ababa Ball on to the next one